that we Africans, we are definitely essential uh, to this process, I mean the process of ending this ongoing onslaught, uh, loot, looting, and killing and, and so on, because the crisis created by this situation in, a, in, a, in a Ukraine is directly linked to what Africans are going to do. Because guess what? What's going up now? The price of gold is going up. The price of copper is going up. The price of zinc is going up. When you think you get all this uh, gold, Africa has lots of it. Africa is a key producer of gold. South Africa is one. Mali is one. Kong is one. Ghana is one. And so on. And uh, you're talking about zinc. You're talking about copper. All this stuff, Africa has, has them in abundance. And that's where the imperialists are trying to find a safe heaven. They're hiding there. So when we're doing this, because we do understand our centrality and we want you to, to understand it and we want you to do something about it and that's why we did this program and being central for us i mean you being in a revolution you being in a party you being in our movement that's how the centrality of africa will express itself in the world because we are key definitely in this world created that i experienced created by global colonialism we are definitely uh the cornerstone and uh, we want you to join so we can uh, uh, move forward. These are uh, some of the things uh, I can I can say uh, now. Uh, yes, we well, I see Comrade uh, Tafari, uh, the Director of Organization for Africa uh, from the party and the uh, chair of the uh, uh, African People's Socialist Party, Occupy the Zania, uh, and what they referred to as South Africa. Uh, I think it's important to say that because we've been looking at Europe uh, making and changing borders uh, of, uh, as a whole process of coming uh, into existence at our expense. So we call it South Africa. Uh, that's what the white man named it uh, and named himself a South African. And I think that if we understand things like that, it helps us to put this issue of Ukraine and Russia and who's who uh, into a, a greater context and understand the political and economic motivation for all of that. So there's an economic motivation for the creation of what they call South Africa about white settlers. And if, if, if the United States uh, took the same stance that they pretend to be taking now about Russia and Ukraine, they would be bombing white people uh, in Johannesburg, but they're not doing that uh, because it's all right for the white people to have taken Johannesburg. It's a double standard, even the white left throughout Europe and, and various other places uh, uh, won't even talk about that. And the fact that, uh, that, uh, uh, that much of the attack uh, on the peoples of the world comes from a place they call the United States that itself is uh, a creature of uh, colonialism at the expense of indigenous and African people. Comrade Tafari, it's good to see you. Uhuru. Thank you, Chairman. Um, thank you. Uh, I just want to first listen to this program. And then, um, yeah, I'm in, I'm in the car here because I have to get my phone charged, you know. Most of the time, there's no electricity here in the townships. So, um, yeah, I unite with everything that the chairman said, has just said even now, uh, even in terms of say, this country, you know, it's a settler colony. South Africa is a settler colony, and it was born through that process of, you know, um, of uh, you know just creating this social system uh, that we're talking about in terms of its mode of production being colonialism. So we are here, uh, you know, in South Africa, uh, because South Africa is 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 a consequence of that attack on African people that resulted in this whole social system that we're talking about today. And uh, I'm I'm saying this because you know talking about Russia. It's still the United States uh, having an opinion about Russia or having uh, somehow managing to influence 
some other countries somewhere close to Russia and being a threat is because of the, the, the same process, you know, that got us into the situation of South Africa. Uh, you know, it's the same process that made America to be America, you know, it's colonialism altogether everywhere. And uh, here, the population, the word population, I, I heard that, that the ANC or South Africa is, you know, uh, just uh, did not vote, in, held its vote in terms of this question around Russia in the United Nations. But then you see the white population here, uh, you know, making phone calls, even the NGOs and organizations asking, uh, you know, like the ANC somehow must take a stand against Russia. You know, the, the white population here is clear about that. They want, because uh, this is like the colonial white population, they want to force the government here, uh, you know, the new colonial government here to, to take a stand. And I saw somewhere actually, somehow the, the spokesperson for the ANC uh, condemning Russia actually, you know, despite what was said there at the United uh, Nations. You know. So um, they, they may uh, actually, actually, in practice, somehow, you know, they have taken a position against uh, Russia. You know. And um, so I unite everything that the chairman was saying earlier, uh, even just the history and, and the fact that they control the narrative right now, you know, um, the, 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 the imperialist, Western imperialism, uh, as it's called, they control the narrative. There is a, uh, a, a media company here, the, ma the major, one of the major media companies here called multi, Multiple Choice. You know, those that have access to this thing called DSTV that can watch many channels like CNA, Al Jazeera, and, you know, uh, Russia Today. It has actually announced that uh, this channel called Russia Today will not uh, anymore, starting from Wednesday, they will not allow Russia Today to, um, to broadcast anything, you know. So uh, it's, it's imperialism everywhere is united. And I think the reason for this is because they understand what this means in terms of uh, the, the whole social system that's in crisis right now. Should uh, Russia manage to succeed right there? It has huge implications for Western imperialism. And at the same time, should Russia be defeated, it has implications for, for the whole world. You know, that Russia is at the center of things, but then the system itself, it's, the, it's, it's in crisis. Uh, you look at uh, the fact that Russia is, is, is able to, to project uh, the future in terms of what it means to have NATO on its borders right there. But, and because some people, they're looking at it in terms of no, these people invading other people and whatever. But then what does this mean in terms of 20 years from now? Because the USA is capable of overthrowing governments and as they, like imposing puppet regimes like they have done in, in Ukraine, like they have done in, in, in many other places uh, in history. So uh, I just unite with, with the, uh, you know, the position of the party that we stand with Russia and we, we do this from an objective analysis with the understanding that uh, the whole world is interconnected right now. We're talking about a social system that affects all human beings in the world. That's why I'm, I'm actually, you know, uh, uh, upset and even disappointed with some of these people who are supposed to be black representatives. Uh, you know, like some of these Pan-Africanists who talk about, no, it's just white people fighting against white people, so we should not be involved in whatever. But then when we look at, um, what happens in Ethiopia, for example, the TPLF fighting against the government, America has an opinion about that because they know, uh, you know, like uh, they have a stake in that. America has a stake in Ethiopia. America had, has, has, a stake in, had a stake in Libya in terms of the internal affairs there, you know, because they know that even though they are miles away, it's a global economy and it's based on parasitism. They require the resources of human beings in the world. So. We cannot look at Africa as something that's isolated out there, that's not affected by the events of the world. Uhuru. Uhuru. Right. <laughs> lit, lit.